Star striker, star young striker coming up, Mason Greenwood, has been remanded in custody uh, because of some very icky and disturbing allegations. And it wouldn't normally be something I'd highlight on this channel because I don't really, you know, want to get involved in all this sort of nonsense. But the stark contrast of what Mason Greenwood is currently going for or currently going through, sorry, and what happened the other night with Bakayo Saka at the Ballon d'Or where he essentially won the Young Player of the Year award and at one time both of these players were con you know compared to each other as some of the you know brightest young prospects coming out of England uh, people especially on social media especially because you know United and Arsenal have a really deep rivalry were basically arguing the points of either player and saying which one they think is going to end up being the quote-unquote star boy of their generation and now Mason Greenwood is essentially um, pending the trial, I'm assuming, on his way to prison. Or if not, his reputation is still going to be sullied off the back of us. Even if he ends up playing football, his public reputation is basically going to suffer. And he most likely would never play for England again because of the PR nightmare around his name. And but Kyle Saka is just going on from strength to strength. He finished second in the Young Player of the Year um, nomination. Was it second? No, it wasn't second, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm lying. He finished eighth, but he was still ranked in the top 10 of the rankings and he was still there, you know, in the kind of celebrations and clearly it shows he's a talent that's kind of regarded amongst all the elite players out there. So clearly he's doing something right in that regard and, you know, looks amazing out there doing his thing with some of the um, Arsenal women's players and generally looking like an absolute boss out there. So break up a kind of sucker. But the story of Mason Greenwood is really the perfect kind of summation of wasted talent and i think it's a movie right what is it? i think it's um bronx tale isn't it that quote of wasted talent that is nothing worse than wasted talent and i tend to agree with that because i remember growing up in an area where a lot of people would talk about their dreams and aspirations of leaving the hood their dreams and aspirations of living like a poverty stricken area where i kind of grew up where literally people were kind of you know rubbing two pennies together to make sure they had enough money to put the electricity on or, or cut out randomly you had enough not enough money for gas or you couldn't pay for bread and all this sort of madness right so pure pure poverty going on around you but because you're all going through it you didn't really recognize it at the time i know i didn't it's only really when i got older and i started to make my own money I started to realize how poor we actually were but at the time I didn't really know because you're having you know you're basically having fun as a kid you're going out all the time if you don't have any food your your parent your the parents of other kids will feed you and you don't really see anything wrong with it because you're your friends but then later on you think raw Ted they must have saw that I was flipping my cheeks were hollowed out that my bed or must have heard my belly rumbling and basically you know felt pity on me and decided to kind of feed me but at the time you're happy just to get free food so it's kind of that bleak but usually a lot of people in my hood a lot of people in the area that I grew up would kind of look at music and sports as an avenue to get out. And the great thing about England, even though we're probably football focused as a main thing, there's a lot of avenues in terms of becoming professional in cricket, becoming professional in rugby, in tennis, in athletics. Even though they don't pay that well, you still have the ability that if you're blessed with some sort of physical attributes or you're a hard worker, you are kind of got, you have got the privilege or no, you have got the opportunity to basically try to take that career full time and obviously you've got stuff like martial arts you've got stuff like boxing and all any other combat sport included also and that was always kind of a good route for a lot of people to kind of essentially pull themselves out of poverty single-handedly and pull their family along with them kicking and screaming and it was always great to see people from the hood basically make it you know um in in their kind of life in that regard one person who you know i kind of was uh, friendly with and went to school with when i was younger was mark noble the former captain and west ham legend who retired I had actually last season um, off of the back of uh, being released from West Ham he decided not to kind of continue his career because he wasn't going to get a contract extension and decided to retire at the top of his game a real real solid pro and he was somebody that was professional and a few other people too that ended up being professional in sports so it's a big deal and I'm assuming other parts of England too because you know uh, Mason Greenwood wasn't from London and I'm not sure if he did grow up poor or rich doesn't really matter but still the fact that he was a mixed race kid growing up in the UK um, and he's been able to you know he's been blessed with a gift to play football and be able to be really really good at it also to the point where he was playing in the first team at a really young age um on the cusp of becoming you know one of the next big or one of the next england greats and then essentially kind of threw it all away um due to whatever he got up with with his missus but it's a bit of an interesting case because he was accused of what he was accused of first time around then he got placed on some then he got placed on bail so then he was released on bail with some conditions and i guess he broke those conditions and that's why now he's in prison basically until his trial date 
Um, so he essentially shot himself in the foot before the trial even starts because I'm assuming this won't look good when the trial starts either that he broke the terms of his bail especially considering the severity of the crimes but anyway it says Mason Greenwood remanded in custody after court appearance the Manchester United footballer Mason Greenwood will spend um, more than a half would spend more than a month in custody after a district judge denied him bail on charge of attempted R word and other offences the 21 year old appeared at Manchester Salford Magistrates Court on Monday charged with attempted R word assault and repeatedly engaged engaging in coercive or controlling behavior so i'm not too sure if the if the breaking of bail had to do with something with this because there was a story that came out the other day that said that him and the girlfriend who accused him of what she accused him of had started refollowing each other on social media i'm not too sure if that was true because a lot of people they'll put out those fake stories where maybe two people didn't didn't follow each other in the first place or they didn't unfollow each other then someone will post the, the screenshot of them following each other online and it makes it look like it was an action that they discovered so i'm not too sure if it actually happened but let's just take it you know at face value it continues that he wore a gray hoodie white t-shirt and gray jogging bottoms and gave his full name date of birth and address before district judge mark hadfield greenwood arrived in court in the prison van after spending two nights in police cell following the decision to charge him on saturday night his barrister david toll asked the judge to allow Greenwood to be released on bail. However, the judge remained, um, sorry, remanded the football in custody until his next court appearance in five weeks' time. So he's going to spend at least five weeks in jail. This young football player who should be on the training pitch right now, training and doing one two to Cristiano Ronaldo, is now in jail pending, obviously, his court case. Absolute waste of talent, absolute waste of opportunity. What a, what a, what a sad, sad way to end this story. It continues, Green, and I say end the story, but he won't. The story won't be ended because you know, when it comes to sports, especially football, if you've got a talent, and especially if you've been released and you're basically, you know, you've kind of served your time, there's always a football club willing and ready and willing to take you back up again and sign you because there's the amount of money on the line for football because he's very talented. So if he played for a flipping championship or a League One team, he could essentially get them up the league single handedly by scoring loads of goals or being very creative and providing loads of chances and stuff and assist. So. The you know he's he his value to those kind of clubs who don't really care about PR is insurmountable, especially when they think about it. look when it goes back into history books, no one's going to remember what you got charged of. They're just going to see that we got promoted, you know, two years in a row and something. So there'll be plenty of teams queuing up if I mean, United do end up releasing him off at the back of the trial. But I'm not too sure if he ends up being found not guilty. I'm assuming they're just going to keep him anyway. But if he gets found guilty, then I'm sure they're going to, you know, his his contract will be terminated. He continues. He's next due to appear in Man United, uh, Manchester, sorry, Mill Hall Court um, on the 21st of November. The defendant's legal team told reporters they would be submitting a further bail application. Greenwood's family sat in the public gallery on the small court alongside of members of the press. Rebecca Markowski Addison, prosecuting, told the court Greenwood has accused of attempted R word, the complaint on 22nd of October 2021. He also charged with repeatedly engaging in coercive and controlling behaviour. Greenwood is accused of monitoring the complaint's social media accounts and making threats and derogatory comments towards her and amounting to a serious effect upon her. Greenwood faces a third count of assault, okay, um, okay, accusing, what's that? Okay actual body harm in December 2021 so just recently last year the end of last year he was still kind of hollering at her and doing all this on nonsense god almighty he was surrendered his passport to police as part of the bail conditions at a hearing earlier which included an order that he must not contact the complaint her parents or friends Jan Porter, the Deputy Chief Crown Prosecutor of the CPS North, said the Crown Prosecution Service reminds all concerned, all concerned that criminal proceedings against the defendant are active and that he has a right to a fair trial. Um, it is extremely important that there should be no reporting commentary or sharing of information online that would in no way prejudice those proceedings complete opposite of what they do in the states today right <laughs> this is all done kind of behind closed doors uh, cloak and dagger type of vibe very private until the the ruling but in america all that news ends up kind of leaking to the press greenwood wants to consider one of the most um talented england forwards of his generation has not played or trained with my united since our arrest 10 months ago nike ended the sponsorship deal with him and electronic arts removed him from active squads on this fifa 22 game May Knight said May Knight had notes that criminal charges have been brought against Mace Greenwood by the Crown Prosecution, who remained suspended by the club pending outcome of his judicial proceedings. Greenwood made his England debut the European National League game against Iceland in 2020, age 18. England debut at 18, clearly on the cusp of greatness. Now, the question I have for this is that what would you rather? Would you rather be a waste of talent or would you rather just never actualize your talent? 
one waste of talent means that you have a run you have a short period of time where you get to enjoy the fruits of your talent as mason greenwood did let's say he enjoyed the fruits of his talent you know um for like five years let's say yeah in in the kind of adult e type vibe in terms of going to clubs instead of having attention to people in terms of getting loads of money in terms of sponsorship in terms of clout in terms of recognition from other professional players he maybe enjoyed it for five years maybe less maybe three would you rather have that three years be legendary something you will never forget or just never have actualized any talent and just live a kind of basic normal life what would you prefer I'm not too sure if it was me. Maybe, I think if it was me, I prefer just to live a regular life, work a nine to five, have a family, chill at home and just be a regular dude living a regular life and not involved in any kind of sports or any kind of entertainment, any showy thing. Never. Because I can't imagine how heartbreaking it must be when you know you had something, a golden ticket, basically, right? Um, you had the, what, what's that? What's Brennan say? Brennan Schwab says, um, you had the golden ticket to Willy for one contraction or whatever nonsense, right? You had, you literally were blessed with a once in a million opportunity that not many people get and that you squandered it. That would, you know, that, that kind of regret is something I could never live with. So I'd much rather just live a regular, boring kind of life as a normie, as a civilian, as a, as a fucking comedian say, and be content with that, you know, family, wife, um, whatever, kids, dog, whatever, car in the driveway, um, one holiday, a flipping year, maybe a couple of dinners out, some drinks with the lads, nice and chill, as opposed to, you know, being that guy in a bar that's always telling people, oh, I would have been on TV if it wasn't for my knee, I would have been this if I didn't do this, that, no, I could never do that, I could never ever do that, so, you know, it is what it is, it is what it is when it comes to that,